Hello there YouTube, John Dragon Man here with my uh, brother uh, just showing you this little happy fellow here have a guess what it is guessing time's over it is a HHO generator hydrogen hydrogen oxygen isn't that right? Yeah. and um, it's not a, a, a huge thing but believe me it can uh, we, we was having a bit of fun with it uh, going back a year now, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Back when I used to have the Vossel Corsa. And uh, you used to be able to fill a balloon up in... How long was it? No time, yeah. A couple of seconds, wasn't it? You used to mm. fill a balloon up. Uh, obviously, you use these to put your power through. Uh, these are your terminals. Doesn't matter which way Doesn't matter which in. way you put it in. You can even run it on AC. Uh, only a low voltage, of course. You don't want to go sticking mains through that. That'd be just uh, <laughs> a, bit bit, yeah, a bit interesting. But uh, we we've uh, took it all apart today. Uh, all the bolts out. Clean all the plates. What are the plates on it again? Three sixteen L stainless. There you go. Three sixteen L stainless steel plates. Um, so they don't rust or anything. Really, really cool. 21 all together in there. Uh, it's 21, yeah, 21 plate. Uh, it's got, I don't know if you can see that on here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five plates that actually are connected to the electrodes. Um, the terminal, sorry. Uh, yeah, um, hopefully we'll be using it in the future. Uh, not really sure what else we can run it on. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, it's still got me cold. <laughs> Um, been running a, uh, yeah, he's been running it on the fluid it came with, didn't you? Yeah, it, it just came with water, um, with some... And a pack of, um... A potassium hydroxide used as an electrolyte. Used, uh, yeah. Um, so, what we're doing with it now is we don't know whether we could run it on baking soda or anything, because it was alkali, the substance that was in it. Um, so I don't know if we could run it on baking soda or something. We'll, we'll try it on, d on various different things. I mean, the uh, the plates what don't rust and the rubber seals, well, if they're all rubber, I don't know what they're made out of, but they were really, really in good condition. So it's all just a guess to see what uh, what's what. We'll run it on various different, uh, different things and see which gives us the best results. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually hooking it into my car. Um, be interesting to do, but um, it'll be the question of um, uh, what, what, what do, the question of uh, <laughs> is it generating more power than electric that it's using? If that makes sense, for instance, is the alternator uh, drawing the power from the engine what the pa what it is boosting? What this is boosting, you know, in terms of your uh, combustion. Uh, I also don't know how well it'll work on a uh, fuel injected car. On a carburetor car, hmm. With a fuel injected car, I don't know how well it would work. Thank you. My sister's just gave me a box of uh, empty Tic Tacs. Uh, they're very handy to put the Pentium 4 CPUs in if ever you come by them. So, uh, just a little thing. If uh, Actually, I'll just show you. Because I've got a couple. Uh, there you go, look. Best CPU uh, holders ever. Keep it nice and safe. Um, yeah, where was I? Uh, so yeah, basically we'll see. It'll it'll all be uh, a little experiment. That's the beauty of about this kind of experimentation with uh, electronics and things. But uh, I'm not looking at any massive improvements in performance. Uh, just maybe a little better. Two batteries in it, uh, and it only being a small engine. It may it may work quite well. Uh, for instance, if I was to uh, run it from the big battery in the back of the car and pipe it to the front, obviously through a um, what do you call them again bubble counters. We made with a fire extinguisher, a didn't bubbler, we? Yeah. A bubbler uh, or flashback arrestor, as they call them. Mm. So if you get any uh, any spark or anything in the pipe, it won't go back into the hydrogen cell and cause it to flash. Obviously, this is supposed to have a big tank on top of it, uh, full of solution, and uh, it'll be nice to have some form of pump on it. Because you've got one input there, and you've got an input there. Now, if you could get that and have some flow going through it, through, enters through here, 
through the cell, it's got, got, uh, got some condensation inside there from when we cleaned it. Uh, and there's another hole through all the cells here. And, yeah. Yeah, look. and basically if you use to pump water through it, you get... Um, uh, much better CO2, uh, CO2, what am I on about? HHO, HHO output. output. But yeah, uh, we also had it uh, hooked up to a uh, a small pipe, and we used the uh, yeah a MIG weld tip. Can't remember what size it was now. Probably a point uh, point eight, I think it was, because uh, that's what we've been using in the MIG welder. Um, we used that. Or was it a point six? Could have been a point six. Because mm. it really really fine flame, and it would cut through tin and all sorts. It was really good. It was almost like a plasma cutter to uh, uh, as it, the way it was cutting through. I mean, if we could get this and have it, although it built up more pressure, it would work. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, canister that we've got, the uh, container that we've got that sits on top of it, which this pipes into, it's, um, what is it? It's The, uh, lid's, cracked. the, the lid's cracked, isn't because it? So it would never get, yeah, it cracked because it flashed back into it yeah. and caused the lid to pop off, which mm. cracked the lid. This is before we had the bubble counter. Um, so hopefully now we've learnt from our ways, um, but I was looking at um, using something like a header tank off a car, uh, you know, like the radiator header tank. Uh, I think the Vauxhall Corsa actually has three outputs, one of them being at the very top. Um, going back to how I remember my Vauxhall Corsa, he had two, I think it was, and one underneath. Well, that would be absolutely ideal for this kind of situation. Uh, you had two at the top and one underneath. So, uh, time will tell. I mean, next time I'm down at the scrapyard, I'll have a look in uh, in any of the courses to see what the header tank looks like. Well, I think that's about it for the video. Um, unless you want to add anything, do you? Um, no, that's about it, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's about it. Uh, yeah, uh, I've got a bit of uh, a thing here we're going to have a look at in a minute. Apparently, it's a solid magnet... Uh, pump air pump. Uh, someone's used it at some point in time to uh, pump water through it. And suck flames through. And suck flames through, as you can see on the bottom. Uh, it's all deformed. And uh, I think the magnet's got jammed in it somehow. It sucked something up and got stuck in it. It's had its cable cut off. But I think I can get inside it and uh, put a new cable on. It's used for aerating ponds. Used for aerating yeah, ponds and stuff. Some Chinese thing. Uh, maybe if I can get inside it and free the magnet up, it may work again. We'll see. But uh, last time it was used, we put it onto power and it just didn't do anything. Didn't heat up or out, so either the coils burnt out or it's uh, the solid the solid magnet inside the slug or whatever you call it inside is just locked up. We'll see anyway. Yep, that concludes this video. M6 JDM and my brother, uh, who for some reason wants to be left unnamed. He's smiling right now. I'm not going to show you, but he's smiling right now. But, uh, yeah. I'll catch you all later, guys. If you want to subscribe, please do. Um, I don't mind if you don't, but if but if you do want to, may as well. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next videos. Peace out, all.